Hi you guys, it's me Mandy, and I have Casey here, and she, I already, <laughs> you guys already love her, because I love her so much here, this is her natural hair, but today we are going to show you guys a tape in extension slight tutorial, I'm just going to show you how I apply them in the hair, okay, so I'm going to talk to you really quickly about tape in, she always says, Mandy, I just feel like my hair is thin, she, it's not the length that she's worried about, it's just more of like the the thickness of it and she loves having thicker hair. So, you know, we have a way to make that all go away and we have extensions to make you happy, again, in your life with hair. <laughs> so, let's just talk about these hair extensions, these ones specifically, okay? We have this color, which is our platinum blonde color, which it blends really, really amazingly. Yep, see? <laughs> it blends so good with her blonde. And then we have this multi-dimensional low light blonde. Platinum color that we have is two different packs, okay? We have a total of two packs in this, and we have the color 613 and the color 60, okay? So when we first started with her hair, we knew we wanted to take her platinum blonde. So we made sure we matched up her color, and we, color, we colored it first and matched it up, okay? That's very important is when you do a consultation with your client, you want to make sure you color their hair, you get the result of what they want, and then you go and order your extensions. So we have the color 60 and 613. These have been toned several times. Keep her hair a little bit more of some low lights throughout the bottom, and so we wanted to kind of break up the super blonde with some low lights. So this color is the color swatch 1422, and we have toned both colors. And how long they last and how you take care of them, and how you can keep the hair nice. I don't even know how many times we've <laughs> used this hair, you guys, but Casey has had this hair specifically for a solid year, okay? She has taken such good care of her extension hair because you have to invest in this. This isn't something that's super cheap as a hairdresser to invest in or even as a regular client, okay? It is definitely an investment, and it's a very good investment. Would you say it's been a good investment? Absolutely. She loves her it's extension. changed my life. It's changed your life. <laughs> hair is such a security blanket, and honestly, when you're insecure about your hair, then it's not a happy life. When you love your hair, then it's a happy life. She has followed all of my rules with her hair extensions. She said, okay, yeah, this is a lot of money. It's a chunk of money that I'm investing in, but she didn't want to invest in her nice hair extensions and walk out with crappy store-bought product at the store with like shampoo and conditioners. So we made sure that she uses a sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner. Always. Yes, she always does. And she honestly makes sure of it. And like she has been my client for about a year now. As long as we've had extensions, she's been my client. And we have made sure she's always had good product in her hair. Always, always, always. Honestly, this is the nice thing about these extensions is they're thick from the top to the bottom. They don't go sparse at the ends, and that's what I love about this company and this, these hair extensions. She's a dental hygienist, and that's why her teeth are so pretty. Example, why you should be in that, like, look at her teeth, they're amazing, and I, I'm a hairdresser, so I have pretty hair. She's a dentist, so she has pretty teeth. Like, Less the both worlds. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm not saying you don't have pretty hair, though. You I'm not saying you don't have pretty teeth. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> I guess we're perfect. What can we say? <laughs> Start here and say really quickly, her daily hair care routine is this. She washes, washes her hair about three times a week. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner. Right now she's using Redken Color Magnetics. And then also too, because she's a hygienist, she always has to have her hair pulled back. And so she doesn't focus a lot of her time on blow drying these and straining them and curling them all the time. She really mainly, like five days out of her life, she's at work. And so she can't do a ton with her extensions anyways. So she's honestly keeping a lot of heat off. She doesn't, she only curls them once a week about, and she lets, those, let, let, she lets that be for about the three days. Mm -hmm. Then she'll wash and then she'll be like, okay, I'm air drying my hair. So she'll air dry it out, which is awesome. And then she really just really takes care of these without putting a lot of heat into them. And, and a wet brush. Wet brush, yes, thank you. Only when you have damp hair. Or dry. She's following the rules, man. She's so good. She follows my rules, and this is why she still has beautiful hair that has lasted one solid year. And you guys, I'll tell you right now, if you take care of your hair, it will last a long time. If you don't, you're gonna have to keep investing into new packs of hair. So anyways, what I wanna show you guys is how I apply these on, and um, just a little quick tip of how I do so it. Most so most people go between four to nine weeks. She goes four weeks when she comes in. 
we give her a small little baby dusting trim. So let's go ahead and do a trim real quick. The reason why Casey's hair has seriously enhanced so much, she's never had this great of hair. Honestly, she's had extensions for a long time, but she's her hair has enhanced so, so much, and it's gotten thicker, and it has gotten a ton longer. So I'm gonna go in here and just do a quick little dusting. I'm not taking it much, I'm not taking a ton off, just those little ends, a little see-through ends. It's very important to go in and dust your client's hair. If this is a client's head, you wanna make sure between your move-ups you do a dusting trim like this because that way her hair underneath is still staying healthy and it's not splitting up as she has extensions in her hair. So really that's all I'm taking off is just a little smidgen, just a teeny tiny bit. Take the front of the hair and I'll bring it back because I like to over direct and I want to keep as much length in the front so we don't have any, sometimes most people struggle with what you call a mullet <laughs> and I have it, I feel like everyone has it honestly, taking that side hair and bringing it to the back again. And when you do that, you're over directing, so you're still keeping length, but you're still dusting off those ends. Okay. So I want to show you guys how I apply tape and hair extensions. So you leave out a section all around your hairline, so that way your client is able to pull up their hair without any of them showing. So I've already got started, and I have in here um, two, three rolls already of tape and extensions. This is the hair that will be untouched and that way when she pulls her hair up it will hide all of her wet. So we are on the fourth row. I like to take a small section. We'll take the same exact length of the hair as with the the wet of the extension. I like to take my think my fingers and I will place that right against her scalp. There's so many methods of doing it but this is my favorite way. I then will take my finger, my index finger, and I will pull that up and I will pull this hair and put pressure and I will make sure that gets super tight to that scalp. I will now take my thumb and I will press all of that hair on top of that tape. Once that's pressed, I will take a weaving comb and I will go back and forth and make sure all the hair is sticky on top of that. So any remaining hair that is not sticky on the hair, I will take that and move it up and put it onto a clip. If that was left on, that would have damaged her hair and created a lot of breakage at that base. Then I will take another piece of hair and I will sandwich that right and I will put it right on top of the other one. Taking my thumbs and my two index fingers and pressing really, really hard and making sure that's really secure. Taking some pliers flat, these are flat pliers, and I will just go in here and make sure those are, that is very, very secure in the hair. The correct isolation of tape and extensions is when you can take this piece of hair and you can move it up and down just like this. That way you know nothing is catching and nothing is hurting. If this is going back and forth, just eat very evenly and soft like this, that means you have it imperfectly. I like to keep out, of course, the hair around the hairline so that way she can pull up her hair. I want to show you guys the most important piece that you need to make sure you do. It is called the connecting piece. So it's the hair between the front and the back that needs to go like right into this area. Because if you don't put that piece in, you're going to have a big gap. And I see that happen all the time. Make sure you have very, very clean partings. So this is going to be one connecting piece right here. Doing the same exact thing. Taking a, the same amount of the wet of the hair. It's going to be a see-through section. Placing that wet. Putting pressure on the adhesive. Securing all the hair onto the tape picking up any additional hair that is left on, clipping that away, adding in another weft of hair. Take your pliers, which again is optional. When she pulls up her hair, you will not see any wefts.
leave this hair on top of this weft and if it wasn't sticking on, all of this hair is going to hurt your client's head, first of all, and it's going to um, create damage to that hair. So you wanna make sure you don't do that. So this, this section right here, we don't want to go that close into the front. So we have all this underneath hair left out. All this hair is left out so that way we can pull up her hair. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this connecting piece and place this right behind the ear. But still far enough but close enough. Far enough back but close enough forward. See my pliers? I'm repeating myself. Oh, that is perfect for that spot. If we were to go right here, that's way too forward. So we're not So we are finished with her extensions. Um, look how beautiful. She just absolutely loves her hair extensions because it makes her feel like I have long, luscious, beautiful hair. Like Mandy. Aww. <laughs> um, so we are loving her extensions, you guys. The way we placed them, they're awesome. We didn't have to cut anything off. Again, I've been doing her hair and her extensions for about a year now, and her hair seriously still feels so amazing. We just put in some oil into her hair, to her ends, just to make sure her hair still stays uh, very nice and healthy. And now what she's going to do, because we just barely did her extensions, you have to wait 48 hours to put any water on them. So she's not going to shower for 48 hours, and then after that, if you can just treat the hair like regular, normal human hair. She'll curl it, she'll straighten it, she'll put cute braids in it, and now she has perfect hair for herself. And, and she's tried the micro beads, which are considered the eye tips, and they're not her favorite, nor they're my, not my favorite either. They're just, they shed like crazy. Like she was telling me a story how she would have to vacuum her house every single day, and she would just get like chunks of hair in her, like a hairball, because they would shed so much. But she doesn't get any shedding, right? No, nope, no shedding. No shedding. We Wait. absolutely love her with this long, luscious, beautiful, melted blonde hair. And let's turn around. Let's do a spin for them. Okay, let's show them the back. Look at the back. It looks beautiful. And her melt is growing in so nicely. And she's able to pull her hair all the way up. Your I question is, can you pull up your hair when you have hair extensions? Uh, yes, you can. Look at that. You can pull it all the way up. You can do a top bun, you can do a braid, you can do whatever what you want to it. Like I said before, Casey's a, de a dental hygienist, so what we do is, with her hair, she just normally does like a cute little um, back ponytail just like this. And look, you can't see extensions or wefts anywhere. Looks amazing. And her ponytail is super thick, super thick, and that's what she loves. Her main thing is like, I feel like my ponytail is so little without the mm -hmm. extensions. But now she has all her thick hair in, and I that's want how you apply hair extensions. Mm -hmm. They're comfortable for your client, they don't shed, they don't damage. A lot of people say, are they damaging? No, actually they're not damaging at all. In fact, let me tell you something. When Casey came here about a year ago, her hair was like above her boobs, okay, her length and she had like little baby wispies hairs and she was like as long as i get extensions i want my hair to grow i don't want it to just keep getting damaged and damaged and damaged would you say that your hair has been enhanced oh absolutely her. it's grown almost probably eight inches yeah her hair has grown about eight inches eight inches since having these extensions for a year now and honestly like i said her own natural hair was like to here and then her natural hair right now let's pull out a piece this is her natural hair right here. So she's almost boob length. Ha <laughs> ha! So we are excited about that because it's helping her hair grow. So if your question is, does this help your hair grow? Does this damage your hair? Does this, what are the pros and cons about hair extensions? 
curls are if they're applied and isolated into the hair correctly, they literally will enhance your own hair. What we do is we make sure she gets trimmed every single four weeks to six weeks and we make sure her hair underneath is staying healthy. We're also making sure that she is using very good products on her hair and her extensions because you guys, this is real human hair and you wanna take care of your hair extensions just like you would on your own hair. So make sure you follow those rules. Just imagine being able to have this thick, nice hair and putting in like the cutest braids ever. That's my favorite thing about having thick hair and just long hair is you can play with braids in your hair and it's just my fave. So if it was her regular normal hair length, she wouldn't be able to have this bulky of a braid. Like she's able to have like just such a beautiful braid with hair extensions and she does braids a lot. Um, anyways, you guys, I'm so glad you tuned into the video. I hope I taught you one thing or another. Subscribe to the video and make sure you go follow um, Bombshell Hair Extension Company. I'm going to link everything below, you guys. Subscribe. Have a good day. Give this video a thumbs up. See? She says. <laughs> anyways, you guys, love you all. And see you on the next tutorial. Bye. Bye.